it's always been there, like the, you know, youth gang violence, but it's never been as bad. When something does happen and someone ends up hurt or there's a shooting, it always comes as a shock. You don't want to see that happening in your community. When I first heard about the sewing class, I wasn't too excited about it because it is sewing. But then after I started and like, I see all the fabrics and different stuff that you sew, I actually liked it. When you first walk in, you can feel that it is a different environment. You do feel safe and everybody helps you. So it's like a second home. This is called Hope Ministries. We make food for the homeless people. I'm getting more credits. I'm getting some job training, learning how to do AC kitchen stuff, and helping the people, getting food to the homeless people. I do academics in the morning, and then I do our job training program in the afternoon. I've learned a lot about operating machinery, safety, basic skills, interacting with other people on the job, just a lot of stuff that can be helpful in the future. So when it comes to getting a job. What I probably like a lot about The Crossing is our family time. Um, we take a break during our academics and we just talk about what's going on in our community, in our school. Guest speakers will come to The Crossing and talk about what's going on. It makes you think about what's going on in the city. We're pretty much calm there. It's like a peaceful place in the middle of like this youth gang wars and stuff that's going on. They make it feel like home. They give us that feeling that you're safe here, you know, this, this is your second home. It's us who's gonna be out helping the community and bringing it together. It can be actually fun to go out and help other people and give back. We just help out the community as much as we can. Be a beacon of hope, as well as a place to feel like home. 